It's being called a one-of-a-kind idea from right here in the mountains, and it could change farming around the world. It's a water pump powered by nothing but a small drop in a stream. News 13's Ashley Searles is in the Rutherford News Center. Ashley, what is the buzz about this invention? You know, there's a lot of buzz about it. I can tell you, it doesn't look very big, and it's plastic. It's not one of those big industrial powerhouses that you think of. But what this could mean for small farmers worldwide is huge. Henry Edwards almost didn't have a corn crop this year. We wouldn't have had hardly anything. But as drought hit hard and the price of gas to power his water pumps shot up. But it takes, uh, well, say a couple of gallons an hour. That's eight, ten dollars an hour. Edwards' 400-acre Rutherfordton farm did just fine. That wouldn't have been here if it hadn't have been for the gravity pump. People are amazed and they see it running and slinging the water, watering the corn. They just they just shake their head. The gravity-powered water pump is the only one of its kind in the country, drawing energy from a four-foot drop in the stream and using it to pump water up and out. With this, you can get this action rocking back and forth 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's pioneering research on how to get water from place to place without a cost. Water will then rise up. No gas, no labor, no bill. We had three of these working, and we were getting 2,000 gallons a day up the hill. Now that's some serious water. The pump was engineered by a Wilmington program called the Full Belly Project as a way to pipe clean water to anyone who needs it but can't afford it. Whether it's a family-run farm like the Edwards or a remote village in West Africa. Well, we're talking about folks who, who want to do some agriculture for themselves, potentially, for a larger market, the neighborhood. The pump was brought to Edwards' property two years ago to be tweaked and tested, but already it's changed the way Edwards, who's been farming for over 60 years, does business. So what do you think of that? <laughs> I think it's a lifesaver. The water pump project was paid for by a grant from the North Carolina Rural Center, and that grant requires that the whole thing be local so it'll create jobs in Rutherford County. So now that it's passed all the tests, the design is finalized, they're just shopping it around to find a manufacturer in Rutherford County that's interested. And if you're interested in getting involved with the Full, body, full Belly Project, you can go to our website at WLOS.com. In Rutherford County, I'm Ashley Searles for News 13.